Okay, so what we have here an AEM AFR fuel meter. Let's see what's inside this one. side this is the gauge okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this uh, exhaust pump into our exhaust pipe so I'm planning to put it here Okay, we just finished doing the weld. So this is my first weld. It's not that good, but just alright. So there you go. Some more walking engineering, and we added some weld bang. So now we're gonna install this AEM air fuel meter on our motorbike. So I've already added a oxygen sensor bang on my Milwaukee pipe. So first is we're gonna remove the end cup. By the way, this is the owner of AEM, so that's how he looks like. We're gonna need the oxygen sensor, which is this one. Then we're gonna install this other one. It's very important not to touch those holes because that's where the oxygen uh, sensor is. Sensor, uh, oxygen sensor just fits perfectly in between the crankcase and then the cylinder block so what will happen is I'm gonna put this wire to here next is this is the harness which I added some connectors so it's very simple 
positive, negative, and then sensor uh, going to our ECU. So this one, this one goes to the meter. Right. So I'm gonna remove this one. air fuel uh, ratio gauge this one goes to the oxygen sensor yep that's very easy and this one goes to this side Turn on. So it says heat. Now we're gonna put our O2 sensor to our ECU. There. Go. So that's our air fuel, 15.4. 5 so just a right This is my casing. This is a phone case which I modified and put a one inch ball uh, adapter there. And I have here another adapter. The good thing about this uh, waterproof casing for cell phone is you can use it using any gadgets that you have. So, that's how it looks. 